Hey, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you're with me today. I like this part of the Bible I'm about to share with you today because this is the moment of action. This is the moment where a guy's been talking about it, hearing about it, thinking about it, but then he finally does it. The, the, the moment you do it, you know, it's not, it's like that moment you, you go to school. You mean you, you, you go. You've been talking about it. You've been thinking about it. You've been saying it forever, but then you finally go. The moment you finally ask her to marry you, you walk up to her and you go, okay, would you marry me? You know, I mean, you know, it's just that, that, that moment of action. And some of you, all of your life, you've been talking about a lot of stuff. Well, in Moses' life, there's this moment of action. Okay, God's told him, all right, I got your back. I got you covered now. But, but here's the deal. I need you t- to take action. So watch what happens, Exodus chapter 14. This is Mo- Moses' moment. He's, he's come out of Egypt. Pharaoh's chasing him. He's got people behind him coming after him. And the Lord tells him, stretch out your hand. <laughs> it's that stretch out your hand moment. Take that stick you've got over the sea, and I want you to stretch it out. Listen to this, Exodus 14, verse 21. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea into dry land and the waters were divided. So the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground and the waters were a wall to them on their right and on their left. Are you willing to stretch out your hand? You've been praying and thinking and talking and researching, but you haven't gone to sign up yet. You haven't done anything. You just talk about it but you haven't done anything. There are things in my life I am determined to stretch out my hand on. I have decided I have my list. I'm stretching out my hands over my finances. There's specific things I'm doing, investigating, looking up, researching. Some of you need to stretch your hand on over your retirement account. You need to check it out. You haven't looked it up for a while. Do some research, keep up with your stuff. Some of you haven't stretched your hand out over your marriage. You haven't stretched your hand out over your health. You haven't stretched your hand out over the way you look. You need to check out yourself. You need to sharpen up a little bit. Stretch out your hand over your words, over your language. Stretch out your hand over the thing that needs to open up in your life. You can read these Bible stories all day and say, what a great story. And Moses went across on the red. No, she opened up and all of the fishes was on the left and on the right. But none of that means anything to you. If things in your life don't open up, the things that are blocking you, God wants you to stretch your hand out over your issues. These stories were designed to inspire you, inspire you to believe that your life can make a difference, that you don't have to have the same results, that you can make decisions in your life. Stretch your, your, your hand out over that job. You need a new one. That job is killing you. There's a wonderful book I, I read called Dying for a Paycheck. Who that was a good book by Pfeiffer, a guy named Pfeiffer. Good book. Dying for a paycheck. Every boss ought to read it. You're working yourself to death, killing yourself. And maybe you need to stop. Maybe you need to find a new way to do this. Maybe you need to treat your staff differently so they can live and not die on your job and work themselves into a hole. Maybe it's time for you to stretch your hand out over your life. Take charge over your life. And by faith, say, Father, I'm praying over this. I want you to help me with this. And when he did that, the Bible said the wind blew all night. It didn't happen instantly. It didn't go, it was a process. And that's how it works, it's a process. It's a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. A little bit and a little bit. Before you know it's all dry. It'll get there, it'll get you there. But you have to be willing to make the first step. If he did not stretch his hand out, it would never have opened up. And if you don't stretch your hand out over your issue, take some action yourself, nothing's going to change. That conversation, no more violence. That conversation that you mean and you take action and you mean it, God will bless you. Let me pray for you. Father, give them grace today and courage to stretch out their hand. What they have in their hand, that's what they should use. And so I thank you and praise you for peace and guidance in their life. And may this be the day in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, my name is Ricky Temple. I hope this sharpened you. I hope it helped you in your life. And I hope you remember we care about you. I'd love to hear from you today. If you want to email me directly and say, I, want to, I need prayer, email me at pastor at overcomingbyfaith.org. That's pastor at overcomingbyfaith.org. Email me and I'll be glad to pray for you and any need in your life. 
Also, get the Overcoming by Faith Ministries app. It's really a cool app. Our church provides this app. It's free. It's got all the sermons, devotionals, everything's on there just for you. So get a copy of it. Download it to your phone or device. I'm done. My time is up. You stay sharp. I'll see you next time. Stay encouraged. Bye-bye.